Dr. Pepper, and this is Mouse. And we're going to let them out the cage. There's some cleaning to do. I want to put like fleece blankets on the bottom, but I just haven't yet because they're not litter box trained. And if I put down blankets, it's just gonna make more work for I. So right now this little plastic is good enough. Um, they have bids and another bid. The litter box. I had this t-shirt in this bid up here, but I guess they like it right here. Um, this litter box. Oh, we got some cleaning to do. Perfect. I get to show you how I clean their cage for this video. Um, this is a litter box. I thought if I bought a bigger litter box for them. His tail is bushy. I thought that if I bought a bigger litter box for them, that it would help them use it. And But that's not working. Um, I have this litter pan as well and that one and it's all on the bottom because I want them to use it on the bottom use this for sleeping use this top one for like feeding drinking and playing and then the other part for sleeping and stuff but they haven't figured out the system yet this is the litter I've been using two litters actually to see like what works or what i like so i use this litter which is this right here it's empty though it's like paper see this is clean it's like almost like recycled paper i feel like it holds older compared to this one so this is the litter that i am now using this doesn't hold older as well as this. So now that I'm out of this stuff, I went and bought another bag of this because this is going to be the litter that I use. Um, as you can see, they don't have a cage that requires litter to be at the bottom. So I only keep the litter in the litter boxes because I want them to understand that litter is for the bathroom only. Hey, Dr. Pepper. I want them to understand that litter is for the bathroom only. I'm going to explain it to you, and then I'm going to show you what my process is when it comes to cleaning their cake. I want a third ferret, y'all, but I'm getting used to these first. I want an Angora ferret. And there goes Mouse. Hi, Mouse. So my cleaning process is I scoop up all of the poop right now. Okay, we're not going to rip this bag up. Is dump that pissy litter to get rid of the smell. Even though right now it really doesn't have a smell. But just for the fact that I'm seeing yellow litter, it's got to go. And then I'm going to scoop up that poop and put it in the pans only because I really need them to understand that this is not where you poop. This is where you poop. So I'm going to keep trying that method for right now until I don't know it works. Actually, one of my ferrets, when I got him from the pet store, he was using the litter box and then he wasn't. They are using this as a bid. I don't know why, but they are. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about that right now, but for now, I'm gonna let, just let them do it. Now I'm going to show you the actual process. So.
much. I should have been timing this. I took all of their bids that I had that weren't in there. They're just laying around. And I actually hung them up. So I moved this down below. And then I put this hammock up here with this hammock. And I put that hammock down in the corner. Litter pans are clean and attached to the cage. And this that they use for a bed as well. Mouse likes the hammocks and Dr. Pepper likes the little beds, which is funny. Um, I used this stuff to wipe out the pans that weren't poopy and pissy. So like this pan, this pan, and I also wiped down the wires too. So I just put them in there. Oh, they looking for water. I gotta get their water bowl. So that's it, their cage is all done. I'll let them back out a little bit later. Um, that's it, that's the end of this video. Uh, I've had ferrets before, and but now a few years later, I'm getting ferrets again, which is them, to do research to freshen up my memory and stuff. My research, they say like the smell of ferrets, but honestly, like if you keep the cage clean, you really don't smell them like cats have a cat smell dogs have a dog smell and ferrets have a ferret smell and the only way that i even smell them is if i like like hold them up to my nose or something and it just smells like a ferret it's, so like ferrets really don't stink how people say that they do um but if you keep like because they go to the bathroom in their cage so of course if you're not cleaning out their cage then they're gonna smell obviously but if you keep their cage clean you really won't even smell them um he smells good to me i clean their cage like that every other day so today is sunday i did it on sunday so on monday i'll pick up the poop and wipe it down and then on tuesday um i'll take the pants out and scrub them and i do that every other day so that's about sorry no I do it like, yeah, five times, five days a week. So, yeah, it's really, and it's not a lot. That's it for this video. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comment section. There will be a ferret video every Friday. Every Friday, you will see Mouse and Dr. Pepper, whether it's entertainment or ferret informative, doesn't matter. You will see them every Friday. Bye. <laughs>